pony pops are in Equestria? This is a terrible way to hoist a prop. There's no pony securing it from the other side. You You're sure fired you as organizer, Applejack. We've got quite a lineup for the Helping Hooves Music Festival. None of which we'll see, other than the one important character. But I have managed to book the biggest pony pop star in all of Equestria. Did she just book her yesterday? Or did she actually wait all this time and somehow keep their preparation secret from her fellow organizers for no reason other than this reveal, which could have put the aforementioned preparations at risk? Castle is a reverse redemption story. This is Amy Keating Rogers' last episode. That's sin enough. How, 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 how have you not heard of her? Pinkie Pie, the Apple family hasn't invented pop music yet. You mean like this? Should we question why Pinkie just happened to have a Polaroid of her rump? Maybe the real sin is that the target demographic won't know what a Polaroid is. There's the bear Sam Cutie mark. That doesn't narrow it down though, AJ. Either she's an important character with a unique mark, or a common background pony with a duplicated mark. Pinky imitates the poop emoji. We had the best time at Camp Friendship. Camp Friendship was always Twilight's biggest competitor. These adults are not doing a good job supervising the swimmers. This denied bro hoof. Mission failed. She belted it out, singing in the most colorful, clear voice I'd ever heard. That's a roundabout way of saying she belted out the singing voice of an adult. Applejack is absolutely enamored by her friends, but only in My Little Pony. Why is this triangle so strangely detailed? Maybe an artist was assigned to design the instruments one day, but the guitar already existed in their library, so the entire workday was spent on this. This nightmarish face. Sven Gallup is a horrible manager for trampling over Pinkie Pie. Not because he cares about Pinkie's welfare, but because letting Rara step over a crazy fan is a security breach. The bane of all cutie marks are symbols which are directional. Rara's right flank has backwards music notes. This raises some questions. For example, do ponies actually have two different cutie marks? Is one considered right and the other considered backward? Is this a sin or an interesting social dynamic of pony? Better sin it just in case. That's my childhood Philly friend, AJ! Childhood Philly friend is kind of redundant, isn't it? Fernando may be the best character of the show, but how does Pinky hold him vertically with a hoof? The Royal Canterlot Garden, made by Gustave Legrand, it's from the Crystal Empire, from Cherry Jubilee's farm. Sven Gallup would be great at brony trivia. This is an outdoor set in the middle of the day. Is Celestia backstage operating the lighting? Is magical autotune really any worse than a magical cutie mark that helps you sing? The only difference in music is subjective opinion, yet this is presented as the bad version of Rara. This is the knockoff version of Applejack's barn that you get on Wish. Little itty bitty tiny Sweetie Belle. Alright! Now who wants more hoosies? That is not an appropriate thing to ask a crowd of children, Rara. Is this the little sister you wrote to me about, AJ? Rara is aware of Apple Bloom. That's interesting, because what are the odds of her happening to win the contest to appear on stage without any unfair bias? Also, we never actually learn what the contest is even about. It's just a big of a mystery as to where all the other performers are. You best get along, little ponies. At least she didn't call them her little ponies. Rara turns on Applejack very quickly with basically no reasoning other than the plot demands it. This seems like an extremely dangerous device to stand over while pedaling. Twilight conveniently has a recording and playback spell. Alicorns are basically just spy drones. Throwing a tantrum and stomping away doesn't seem very fitting for a greedy manager who should probably have contracts and lawyers. Why is Rara worried? She got rid of Sven Gallup, but it looks like she gained an alicorn known for her organizational prowess. It doesn't get any better than that. Unless, of course, she's worried about the future of her career, which is certainly doomed and not explored by this episode at all. Twilight comes out onto the runway, but then she walks backwards and falls into the crowd off screen. Ponies unironically playing the piano with hooves is better than any joke about how hooves can't play the piano. It's still a sin, though. Especially since we can hear the piano while her hooves do nothing. Pretending to play the piano is much more scandalous than autotune. At least there is nothing deceptive about that. This may be a touching episode, and it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside to see Rara embrace who she wants to be and ditch the flashy pop star persona. But the reality is this is far less likely to draw a crowd, and all these ponies were deceived into coming here. Looks like Minuet's low battery warning is flashing. There's probably some joke to be made about how she swapped the veil covering her face for a veil that covers her rump. Fernando.